to travel now. We're super excited to be giving away a dream holiday to Hawaii. And Deb's been over to check it out and she'll tell us more about her island hopping adventure in just a moment. Thanks for joining us, Deb. But first, Rusty Willis from Hawaiian Airlines is here to talk more about that aloha experience the minute you get on the plane, Rusty. And yeah. I guess that's where it starts for people. It starts right here. Aloha. Aloha. Yeah. Great to have you here. When were you last in Hawaii? Uh, two days ago, actually, just arrived back. Do you love it? I'd live there tomorrow if I could. <laughs> if you could. Yeah. Instead, you're looking after us here in New Zealand trying to get there. So that experience when you get on board the plane starts straight away, doesn't it? Yes, the, the, the warmth of Aloha starts uh, the moment you step on board. Uh, you know, the crew proudly wearing their new Sig Zane uh, inspired and designed Hawaiian uniforms that we've just recently introduced uh, to our unique in-flight safety video. Uh, showcasing the, the flavours of Hawaii from a, our, our, our ohana perspective, our own people. Uh, and of course, uh, down to the, the, the complimentary meals and beverage, and we have uh, new executive chef Leanne Wong, who's uh, working on some more uh, surprises oh, and nice. uh, variations on those for us now. And I guess that must be a really exciting part of people's journey, getting on the plane. The holiday starts the minute you board, really. And Deb, I heard you got an upgrade to extra comfort. Did you notice much difference? Yeah, lucky I did. Thing? Yeah. yeah, thanks for that, Rusty. That was awesome. <laughs> um, I mean, as soon as you get onto the extra comfort part, you notice there's extra leg room. And I mean, it's a midnight flight, so you've got eight hours to relax there. So the recline is really important as well. In a regular economy seat, it's 30 or 31 inches on extra comfort it's 36 so you've got an wow, extra yeah. five inches of personal space there as well and a cool little comfort pack as well you get given a wee pack with some hydration spray comb toothbrush toothpaste a lip balm it's all really great products that you get so you really feel looked after and extra comfort which is great hawaiian airlines taking it to the next level you know all those little touches make that journey very special mm -hmm. and an easy eight hour flight debbie Can yeah. tell us about that well i'll go one better i'm going to show you what we did mike because we spent some amazing Amazing time on Oahu. The winner of our competition is going to be doing this, so take a look. We're in Hawaii, Oahu Island, Waikiki. What better place to learn to surf? Errol was surfing on his dad's board before he could walk and has taught hey, surfing here for almost 20 years. Uh, first, we're going to do a little bit of land instruction mm -hmm. and then we're going to go out to Kaiser Surf Break out there. Right, okay. We're the only surf school here at this surf break that does surf lessons here. So we have the whole inside break to ourselves. I'm a complete novice, so Looking Errol forward, keeps it simple. Lean forward on your front leg. Yeah. All right, Debbie, let's hit the water. Errol toes me out, helping conserve my energy. Then it's a matter of try, try, and try again until finally, this is me surfing at the famous Waikiki Beach for an entire half second. And the wipeout's totally worth it. When you ride the wave, that's one of the best feelings in the world. You know, every time you ride, you're always smiling. But the thrill of riding the wave, you know, and, and you keep coming back for more. I might have to come back and do a little bit more practice. <laughs> Chinatown is well worth exploring, easiest with a guide. So Monica Street is synonymous with Chinatown. So if somebody says, oh, I'm going to Chinatown, you just assume they're going to come here right. to buy a lay, to eat, uh, to shop or some takeout food to take home, or to go to one of the grocery stores here. Traditional treatments are still practiced, and noodles made by hand. It's being steamed in these huge steamers. They're, they're stacked like this, more than 20 trays. They're steamed there, and they come out all steamed. He rolls it up, and you can buy it and get it cut and we get to taste as we wander. Among the fresh fish and local produce, you'll find the odd frog. We find an award-winning boutique chocolatier using the same process as the ancient Mayans and Aztecs. No chemicals with the beans literally dried in the Hawaiian sun in the backyard. Our chocolate is made so that people don't have to worry about um, animal products, it's all plant-based products. We know everything from the bean to the bar, the whole experience. We really have a relationship with our chocolate. <laughs> Roberta Oakes is a fashion designer putting the cool back into those iconic Aloha shirts. They kind of were known more as like an old man's shirt for a while or something people would wear for fun, not, not to really be taken seriously. The Aloha shirt is the businessman's uniform. So with kind of a new generation of younger professionals and stuff, I 
really saw a niche to just do something more fashionable and more fun. And Time for lunch and we're at the Pig and the Lady, where traditional Thai gets a modern international twist. On the menu you'll see like um, Mama Lay's um, pho, you know, or Mama Lay's special because she inspires us really um, from, a, from everything, from a work ethic perspective, from cooking, really anything we do here at the restaurant. Family value is really important for us here. Um, so the philosophy is always about um, gathering together, eating around a table. So a lot of the food that we have here is shared items, communal eating. For dessert, we visit a punk rock musician turned ice cream maker. His flavors inspired by his childhood in Chinatown. I try to push the, push the limits on, on flavors and what people accept as ice cream. Like I've done a Maui onion and sour cream. <laughs> that sounds horrible. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes just like the, the chip, you know? Did it go off? Did it work? It, it did work. It kind of threw a lot of people off. Another one is uh, ice cream of mushroom. It's like cream of mushroom soup, but ice cream. And Miller's salted dried plum powder should be added to everything. That really sets it off. That just makes it go pow. Baby, lay on back and relax. There's time for a swim and freshen up at the Lalo Autograph Collection, a contemporary oasis with Hawaiian charm just above the buzz of bustling Waikiki and not far from Dukes. Right on the beach, famous for its hula pie. Wow. Thanks, Kat. <laughs> and the perfect place for cocktails at sunset. Across the road, take a stroll through the international marketplace. A $700 million upgrade has transformed it into a slick open-air plaza with 75 stores and nine restaurants. Remember, if you need to ask the price, you can't afford it. That iconic banyan tree remains. It was planted by a New Zealand couple in 1850. But we've saved the best for last. A 90-minute cruise along Waikiki Beach to watch the spectacular Friday night fireworks. Perfect day in paradise, done. Ah, oh, the sun, the people, the vibe. Perfect day in paradise, all right. Now, Rusty, you've just got back from Waikiki. Uh, tell us about where our competition winners will be staying. We'll be staying at the fabulous Lalo Hotel. Oh, um, the one we just saw. One of my favourites as well. Yeah. Uh, it's a really great location. Staff there are wonderful. Uh, they're in for a real treat and experience at the Lalo. Oh, it looks so nice. We have a little gift from our friends at the Lalo for the, for the team as well afterwards. Oh, nice. Well, thank you very much for that. We like gifts. And, of course, uh, not just Kiwis to Hawaii that Hawaiian Airlines flies them to, is it? No. Look, uh, Hawaii is our home, uh, our hub, uh, and we have those beautiful neighbour islands surrounding her as well. Um, but uh, we fly beyond to 12 cities in the USA and that's becoming an increasing uh, option for many Kiwis, you know, getting a jewel and tri-destination holiday into Seattle, back down to Vegas, picking us up out of Vegas, back down to Hawaii again. So a lot of that, New York, um, a lot of, lot of options. Yes, and yeah. look, thank you so much for the competition. Really appreciate it. Hawaii's becoming very popular. You made it very affordable and a great experience. So thank you very much, Rusty. Thank you very much, Debbie, as well. Thanks, awesome, tough gig, isn't it? And we have that big <laughs> prize draw next week. So watch for the word of the day and then enter online on the cafe's website. Go on, do it. You will not regret it if you win.